our sun lies at the heart of the solar system, and it's no secret that it's massive. Scientists have figured out the sun is around 110 times the diameter of the Earth. This means that over 1 million Earths could fit inside the sun. The outside of the sun is over 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. However, that's nothing compared to the core which can reach more than 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. NASA have said that to match the energy the sun produces, you'd have to set off 100 billion tons of dynamite every second. Researchers have come forward and said that when our sun was born 4.5 billion years ago, it had a twin. However, this twin sun was not identical. The Harvard scientists have said this was the same with every other star in our universe. It has in fact been proved that many stars do have companions. Astronomers are now focused on trying to understand whether binary and triplet star systems are born that way. Astronomers have been searching for the sun's twin. This star goes by the name Nemesis. It's been suggested that Nemesis is the reason behind the KT extinction. This has become known as one of the largest mass extinction events to happen on our planet. It's also become known as the Dive of the Dinosaurs. It's been theorized that Nemesis pushed an asteroid into the orbit of Earth. An astronomer from UC Berkeley said the following, There probably was a Nemesis a long time ago. We have searched and tried to find out where this star resides. The system where this star would be is either broke apart or shrank. This other sun, however, would not have been near the current one. It's thought that at one point in time it would have been 800 million miles away from Earth. An idea is that this sun most likely escaped and then mixed with other stars in the Milky Way's region. As mentioned, this isn't science fiction either. Other researchers have come forward and said this is not the first time that the idea that stars form a companion has been suggested. A research paper is going to be featured in the Royal Astronomical Society. This will look at the origins of binary and multiple star systems. However, although this theory does have its supporters, there are those that don't believe in the nemesis theory. Some researchers have come forward and said that after studying craters, it doesn't back up the nemesis claim. Regardless, studies are still happening to try and prove the existence of this hypothetical star. So what do you guys make of this? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.